somebody is is owning as an elected representative in democracy a constituency for 40 years imagine what it should have been by today if this is what the gift they can give i think it's enough that they take retirement now the dharma rakshate rakshate ha 21 lakh voteron ka jo aansu aaj tak bhatte aaya hai shayad uska goonj delhi tak sunai diya hai par jang ka elan kar diye hai aur mujhe aisa lagta hai ab sahi maayne mein unko nyay hone wala hai madarse mein bachchon ko khana nahi milta hai mandiron ko kabja hote rehta hai erased the so called comments and rumors that asad asaduddin bai is their b2 team their b team so i think with this they have very 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 loudly they have declared to tell that how much wholeheartedly they would want to win all city as a seat as a constituency so i'm excited and thrilled that they have really done so much of justice towards the constituency and they've given me such a golden opportunity to really work hard with complete passion and dedication i'm thankful to them ma'am uh, for 40 years the oasi family has been uh, ruling over the hyderabad constituency they have his asaduddin's uh, father salauddin has won the constituency now asad has won altogether for a period of 40 years so how do you think that you could uh, you know fight against uh, the thing you, do you think that uh, you know what are the key aspects that you would want to raise uh, in the constituency first of all i would want to tell you that the biggest disadvantage that they run today is the kind of plight that have left the entire old city constituency in 40 years what somebody can do is what modi ji has proved as a chief minister in 25 years and today in two terms he has proved what he can do as a prime minister if somebody is is owning as an elected representative in democracy a constituency for 40 years imagine what it should have been by today we all expected to be somewhere as number one constituency in the entire country but today we see the plight of it as the one of the worst constituencies to the extent that it has been literally abandoned even as a constituency if it exists in this country if this is what the gift they can give i think it's enough that they take retirement now what do you promise to the constituents ma'am what is uh, the promise from your side what do you think is what, the one thing that is lacking in the right to neighborhood everything that their neighborhood is enjoying everything that their neighborhood is enjoying the round about constituencies that share the common boundaries with old city as a constituency the old city constituency has nothing if you want to take about the hygiene no road sanitation no education no health no poverty yes child labor yes early child marriages yes n number of kids you know with no facilities yes destitute old people yes demolitions yes kabja yes land grabbings yes how you tell me did he leave anything anywhere no education no higher education nutrition is pathetic now you tell me 
he has left entire big chart that I think some Somalia should really develop that, that place. You know, like, agar aap puching, if you want to ask me that, what all should happen in Somalia to develop? That's all poor, the entire list is left for old city. So the first thing that I would want to look at it is immediately pump in education, sanitation, hygiene, and health facility. Along with that, there may be some immediate basic employment for women and for youth. This has to be the utmost priority now that should go in because these are the survival things that they need right now. So I'm sure that, you know, like beautification and all that comes second. They are in dearth of the basic things. I'm sure ANI would one day come along with me in all my campaigning to really see the beauty of the so-called the great old city that has been gifted by our great existing MP to the constituency. I say, like, I have a dream of a dream of a dream of a dream of a dream. 21 लाख वोटरों का जो आंसू आज तक बहते आया है, शायद उसका गूंज दिल्ली तक सुनाए दिया है, और उनके लिए न्याय करने के लिए हमारे जितने भी बड़े भाई यहाँ बैठे हुए हैं ना, तो जंग का ऐलान कर दिए हैं, और मुझे ऐसा लगता है, अब सही मायने में उनको न्याय होने वाला है, तो आज का जो ऐलान या ये जीत हमारे 21 लाख भाई बहने जो ओल्ड सिटी से हैं, उनका है ये, ऐलान उनका है ये, और जब ये आगे बढ़ेंगे, अपने हाथ का जो शस्त्र है, उनके हाथ में वोट, और उसका जो जब वो इस्तेमाल करेंगे, तब हम सभी फिर से दिवाली का त्योहार मनाएंगे। हम क्या हम ऐसे मुद्दे हैं जो आप हैदराबाद कॉन्स्टेंसी के लोग मैंने आठ साल से देख रही हूँ उन लोगों और खास करके एक साल से हर दिन मैं वहाँ गु उस हर गली हर बस्ती में जा रही हूँ मैं दिन में तकरीबन दस ग्यारह घंटा काम करती हूँ मैं पूछे तो क्या है वहाँ पर वहाँ कुछ नहीं है आज ना पढ़ाई है ना हेल्थ फैसिलिटी है उनको ना रोड साफ है ना मोहल्ले में मोहल्ले म मदार से में बच्चों को खाना नहीं मिलता है, मंदिरों को कब्जा होते रहता है, हिंदुओं के घरों में वो लोग घर तक नहीं मालूम, एक एक दीवार टूटता है तो नहीं पता है आगे आके कौन आके उसको कब्जा करेंगे, मुसलमान के घरों में बच्चे पढ़ते नहीं हैं, बच्चे पूरे वहाँ पे चाइल्ड लेबर हो जाते हैं, ना � लड़ाई जिसका जो चिंगारी तक वही डालते हैं जिसका फायदा भी वो लोग उठाते हैं वो जो फायदा उठाते हैं उल्टा उनके लिए कुछ करते भी नहीं है लेकिन ऐसा एक मुद्दा हो तो बताएं आप ही सोचिए ऐसा वोल्ट सिटी कोई कोई ऐसा तो पहाड़ पे तो है नहीं वो ये समझने के लिए वो ट्राइबल्स हैं वोल्ट सिटी कहाँ ह� Andhra and Telangana state was taken to ask for the Hyderabad. His taxes, his taxes, his taxes, are so big. In Hyderabad city, you can see the old city constituency of Hyderabad city, where there is a poverty, a poverty, a poverty. Now tell us, what is there? Where is the poverty? There is a lot of poverty in that constituency.